What's up, y'all? Chris, real quick post-fight thoughts on last night's Bellator card. Pretty good card overall. Definitely uh, the main event was the best fight of the night, as anticipated that it would be. And, of course, um, you know, I did a predictions bid for this event, but I didn't post it because I made some mistakes and I just didn't feel like redoing it, you know. But uh, actually, I had predicted the channel would probably win the fight, I think, by stoppage. And obviously that didn't happen. It ended up being a five-round fight. I don't think it was as – and I didn't anticipate it. I didn't think it was as good as the first fight, but it still was good. It had a different narrative than the first fight, although it was a back-and-forth fight like the first one, but it didn't have the big – it had shifts in momentum, but it didn't have – yeah, it did have do-or-die moments, I guess. Um, it just didn't have those as exciting moments, you know, near-finish moments um, by, by strikes like the first fight. Um, and obviously it didn't have a finish like the first fight. As far as the scoring the fight, I had the first round for Chandler, second round for Alvarez, which was close round, which seems to be the round that most people were debating about. Third round for Alvarez, fourth round for Chandler, clearly. Um, some people even thought Chandler deserved a 10-8 round in the fourth. I didn't, but I clearly thought he won the round. And then the fifth round for Alvarez. So I had Eddie Alvarez by decision. Um, three rounds to two, I gave him one, three, and five. Uh, I thought it was a close fight, though. Um, obviously, he won by split decision. I think it's the right call. It was a close fight. I could definitely see Chandler getting the scorecard. It seemed like a lot of people had thought Chandler deserved a win. Um, you can't always go based on how their faces look or damage. But if you went by that, obviously, it was pretty clear that Chandler was the more busted up of the two. Um, Chandler just, I don't know. He, he Eddie Alvarez had, enough, had a game plan to move and strike you know, hit and run, so to speak, in a way, and he was effective with it. Chandler, it seemed like early on, he was kind of playing more Eddie's game and thought he was going to eventually catch him. Maybe he was a little bit too confident. At times, it honestly looked like like Chandler was a little bit too confident for his own good. You know, when he went for takedowns, when he got him, he was effective there with his wrestling, but the latter half of the fight, he wasn't able to uh, be as successful at that, except for the fourth round, of course. But, um, I thought that Alvarez had an effective strategy, and for the most part, he employed it. You know, survived the tough spot in the fourth round. Uh, both guys almost got rear naked choked. The Alvarez almost got choked out at one point, and Chandler, of course, almost got choked out in the fifth round, I believe it was. But both guys were ever survived. Hell of a fight. Obviously, a rubber match is probably going to be next because in the contract, it's stated that if Alvarez won, Chandler got an immediate rematch. So we're going to get a rubber match and find out once and for all who is the best of the two men. Because so far, so far, it's close to call. You know, Chandler won the first fight by stoppage, rear naked choke, and Alvarez got a split decision. But I don't think we can clearly say one fighter is better than the other just yet. As far as the rest of the card, it was all right. You know, um, King Mo lost Emmanuel Newton. King Mo just too one-dimensional, couldn't get the takedowns really, and his striking just was looking for one big shot and wasn't able to get it. Emmanuel Newton won by activity for the most part, just doing more. And Daniel Strauss upset Pat Curran. Good win for Daniel Strauss, you know, uh, just outworked Curran, played his kind of fight, um, got in the clinch, got some takedowns, landed, did, landed, uh, did pretty good in the striking range as well, which I thought Curran would have the edge in, but new uh, featherweight champion in Bellator, Daniel Strauss. Good uh, night of fights overall, but definitely uh, the main event was a great fight. Uh, Want to hear your thoughts about the fight? Alvarez Chandler, how'd you score it? Who do you favor in a rubber match? That's it for now. Um, I'll be talking about this event a lot more in Science Minds Radio Show. Links to that and Twitter and the Fringe Radio as always. Till next time, I'm out.